We'll go ahead and get started on everybody's left. We have Jamal Haynes. On everybody's right, we have Weston Franklin. We'll go ahead, Jonathan. Jamal, you said earlier this week you had something special planned uh, for, for today. <laughs> was this what you had in mind? Uh, I had a win in mind. Anything to get the job done. That was pretty much it. That's pretty much was the goal, the mission. Came here and got it done. Kelly? What went through your mind on the last play with the, you saw the hole to run through? And I'm sure you were probably just thinking, I'm going to get a first down, get as much as I can and clock at all time out. But what went through your whole week? Um, when you saw the end space. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I had a couple of coaches just telling me, uh, bust one, bust one. You know, it's coming. Yeah, I've been harping on it all game. Like, just calm down. And one's going to come. And, I mean, I really got the ball. And I was really thinking an explosive play, anything that happened. I mean, my left guard, my left tackle, they pulled. One kicked, one wrapped. I just seen daylight and hit it. Chad? Uh, Wesson, I saw you just kind of jog off the field and give Jeep a bump. I mean, it's kind of <laughs> you're just tired, not that big of a celebration guy. Or? Uh, I mean, I, I seen Jamal once he got to the linebacker level. I seen him break it. I knew he was going. So, yeah. uh, I looked to the sideline, celebrate with my teammates, and uh, seen Jeep. So that was pretty special for us because um, usually he's he's in the back. I'm not really celebrate with him. So yeah. it was definitely fun. I knew plenty of guys were going down there to celebrate with Jamal. So uh, found him, and so it was pretty cool. What was the call? Did you know it had the, the capability of hitting big like that? Um, uh, I did. Yeah. I mean, they they said we we're gonna pop one. It, it just a matter of time before it happens. And so uh, when it when it went, I was like, hey, there, it, there it is, and there we go. So next one, whatever. Paul, just uh, curious your thoughts about the, the running, running game as a whole. Obviously, the quarterback uh, and his fair share of yards on the ground as well. Just how impressed were you with that? Um, I can't really say I'm too impressed. I mean, it's expected. These guys work hard day in and day out, week after week. I mean, we kind of know what it is. We know how our run game can be. We know how dominant we can be in the run game. That's running the ball with the running back or the quarterback. So. It's not really an impression, it's really an expectation nowadays. So really proud of these guys. Once again, they come up and show up to work every week. So I, I can't really ask for too many much, too much more. Uh, Coach Key mentioned that uh, kind of you guys expected a lot more, I guess, of blitzing and, and really kind of that type of thing coming in and made, had to make some adjustments. Can you kind of talk, both of you, about what those adjustments were, what you guys had to do differently in, in, uh, on the day? Uh, <laughs> for us, it was just mainly, uh, just trusting our technique and being patient and um, just trusting what we were doing. And um, I mean, we knew what we kind of had a game plan going in of what we wanted to do and uh, made some slight adjustments like like Coach Key said and um, made those adjustments and it worked for us. So we was able to capitalize on that. From a running back perspective, I mean, uh, he kind of harped on it, the patience aspect. Uh, we kind of rushed a lot of runs. Uh, previously uh, in past games. So it was more about patience, getting back used to hitting the, hitting the line and uh, controlling the line of scrimmage and really pressing the heels of the line of scrimmage. And I feel like we got that job done today. Chad? Jamal at ACC kickoff, I think you said that this game kind of had circled looking forward to this one maybe more than others. Can you put into words how appropriate it is that you're the one that scored the winner and got it done? I mean, it's, it's a great feeling, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the win that matters. I, I wanted to win more than anything. I mean, absolutely great run, great job on my old line, but I wanted to win, and I feel like this team got that done today. Can you guys talk a little bit about Zach having to come in? Haynes has played pretty much every meaningful snap that was intended to play during his time here. This was the first time that Zach's had to come in and come off the bench. Just what kind of he did and how you guys picked him up when he came to the game? Um, like previous teammates said before, I mean, he prepares, Zach prepares every week like he's a starting quarterback. Period. So I mean, it's really no change for any of us when he gets in the game. It's it's the same, it's the same no matter what. I mean, he, whether it's Haynes or Zach back there. I mean, we get reps with both of them throughout the week. Um, so I mean, it's really no change for us. We expect the same level of play from Haynes and, and Zach, and and that's what they do. And, and we can't be more proud of them for that. He really kind of hit on it. I mean, Zach comes in and works days in, day out, weight room, on the field, off the field. Zach's a great character guy. I mean, he can come in and get the job done the same way Haynes can. Really proud of Zach and the way he came in and controlled the game today. On that same note, Luke Harper had to come in and play a lot of snaps at the end. You know, that good, run, good pass play on the – was, also, was that handoff designed to not go to nobody that Harper got? Like, <laughs> what, what happened with that one? So you're on the other side of that play. It's a little bit of misplay, so we do have some dummy signalers. Um, but at the end of the day, that's really just Haynes being a guy, making a play. And then Harpering, as you said, he's one of those guys, too. Young guy, comes in, ready to work every day. He's very, very coachable, very coachable. And when these is one of the days, you could tell we have a good program where it's next man up. 
everybody prepares the same way. Everybody prepares as if they're the, they're the starters. So next man up, he did a great job stepping in, stepping up today. Weston, uh, you guys were struggling to run the football a little bit in the first half of the season. After the bye week, last two games, you guys have run and been much more physical up front. Is that something that you guys worked on in the bye week? Was it something you guys took some pride in? Maybe had to like kind of work at it during the bye week to get it going again? I mean, we, we definitely take pride as old line being able to run the ball when we want to. Um, so we definitely looked at it and worked on it. And uh, we, we made a, some minor adjustments here and there that would help us as a group. Uh, we made those changes and um, just trusting the plan and trusting what we're what the what the play caller is calling and uh, just trusting us and being able to do it. Time for one or two more. Go ahead, Chad. Weston, can you speak to the growth of this program? I mean, maybe this is a game that a year or two ago this team doesn't <coughs> the maturity of this team to be able to pull out a game like this. Uh, I mean, this this team just don't know how to quit, and we're, and we're not going to. Um, I mean, in years past, I mean, maybe if. if if they score a touchdown right there, get points, whatever, tie the game up. I mean, we might, you know, uh, you know, you never know. But this team, that, that, that's just not in this team. That's not in who we are. That's not what we, in Coach Key preaches. And um, we believe everything he says and what he's doing in this program. So um, just never, never say die. And that's kind of our mindset. Okay. Anything else? Chad, yeah, one more Jamal. Huge game now against Notre Dame at Mercedes Benz. Just really thoughts on that matchup. Uh, early thoughts. Same thing. Next, next, next person up. Next person in our way, next team in our way. I mean, we got to come back tomorrow, go to practice, go to work, reset, refocus, and it's time. It's time for it. We're in the bins. It can't make the game bigger than what it is. We got to go out there. We got to be ready to win. Okay. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you, sure. you both. Thank you all. Go Jackets.